everybody. So today I'm going to do a review of the Mid-Size Center Column Reference Bible. This is a red letter edition in ironed calfskin. This one is done by Church Bible Publishers. And with each Bible that you purchase from them, you're going to get a little handout. And it talks about how the term handcrafted is often used in a broader manner and just about the binding process. And one thing that I thought was really neat was through all of the binding processes, each Bible is touched no less than 25 times. So that is pretty cool. Just lets you really appreciate all that goes into making these Bibles. There's some of their contact information there. If you wanted to learn more about their binding process, you can check out the website there. There's some videos on there, which is pretty neat. And then this here is gonna give us some examples on some of their Bibles. So they do have a variety of different compact Bibles some compact reference ones. We've got a uh, handful of different red letter editions, which are really nice. They offer some specialty Bibles. So they do have a full YAP cover Bible, which is really neat. They've got a portfolio Bible. And then this here is really neat. I would like to try that. So the build a Bible, so that way you can choose your own cover, your ribbons, everything like that. So I think that is really neat. So I'm definitely going to try that. And then it also just has some books on the back of there because they also sell Christian books on their website as well. So there is their website and their phone number. So definitely check out their Bibles. Their Bibles are absolutely gorgeous. Just a beautiful, beautiful Bible. I am in love with this one. Came in just uh, two days ago and I cannot put it down. I've already read 25 chapters out of this Bible. I am in love with it. This particular one here measures out at nine and seven eighths inches tall, seven inches wide, and is an inch and a half thick. We've got nice black and yellow head and tail bands. The gilding on this is absolutely beautiful. And the way that they round these corners, the way that they're done, they just look super, super nice. You can almost see like little specks of gold in there, almost like a, not quite a glitter, but you can see all those little shines. The gilding is absolutely fantastic they've got awesome awesome gilding and with this being an iron calfskin you're not going to get a lot of grain we'll see more on the back side of this bible but just inside the perimeter here we're going to see that it does have a really nice tooled line around the perimeter it is also a stitched perimeter so that is really nice the spine on this bible is beautiful so we have holy bible red letter, authorized King James, and CBP. And then we can see those nice pronounced raised ribs. And who does not love raised ribs on their Bibles? It would be nuts not to. So on the inside here, it's going to tell us that it is in fact ironed calfskin. And their stitching work around the corners looks fantastic. This uh, material on the inside, it is a synthetic liner, but it has a really nice soft feel to it. We can see that it is edge lined, so that means that that cover, that liner is going to come tabbed into the block here. You can see that line. So that's going to take away having the stress right here. So that uh, is going to make this binding really, really strong. They do reinforce it on these first few pages. And then both in the front and the back of this Bible, we're going to get four pages of blank cardstock, both front and back. So we're going to have a total of eight. So if you like to take notes, you're going to have plenty of space to do so in this Bible. We're going to get into our presentation page. And they do have the Cambridge style presentation pages with that blue and gold design around them. So I like the way that those look. We've got our family records page. Page for children, page for marriages, and then we get a glimpse there of the stitching. So, that again, that nice sewn binding. We've got a second pages for marriages, page for grandchildren, and a page for deaths. And then we're going to get into the Bible itself. So this one is the King James. You can see that it is a review copy, so I would like to thank Church Bible Publishers for sending this out for review. Here is our item number down here at the bottom and their phone number and their website. This is going to have the epistle dedicatory. 
And then we've also got the translators to the readers. So if you get one and you've never read these, I would highly recommend reading those. You should always at least read them once if you're a King James reader. And then we're going to get into our page where we've got the list of the Old Testament books, a list of the new. Then on the back side here, we're going to have a table of signs used in the book. And this is just an aid to help you with the self-pronouncing text, which this Bible does have. So then we're going to get into the text itself. So we've got a nice double column format, which I love a double column format. We've got our center column references. And this Bible here has an 11 point font. So we can see that it's nice and dark and bold. So nice and readable, which we absolutely love. You don't get much ghosting. You do get some because it's not line matched. But the camera, of course, always picks it up a lot worse than the naked eye. But this Bible is just a joy to read out of. I've already read 25 chapters out of this between the Old and New Testament. I cannot put it down. I am in love with this Bible. So one thing that I really like the way that they've got their references is they almost always line right up. So there's times where you may have it to where it might be four lines or so up or down from where it is within the text. But for the most part, it's just going to be right there. So you don't have to hunt for it. So that I really like. So we're going to have letters. As you can see, we've got both letters and numbers scattered through here. So the letters are going to be our cross references. And then the numbers are going to be translation helps. So that is really neat. So if we look right here, we see, and God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. And we see that there's a number four by firmament. If we go over to the center column, that's going to tell us the meaning of that word, which is expansion. So I do like that they have these translation helps. You can also see a few of the other ones here. That's really nice that it's right there within the text. I really do like the way that they did that. That's pretty neat. Another thing that's kind of unique to this Bible is we see this little 91 here. So all the chapters throughout the Bible are numbered. So that is pretty neat. So kind of neat to be able to see that and see how many chapters there are throughout the Bible. I think that's pretty cool. So now we're going to get into what makes this Bible so special, which is the red letter. And these will be available here soon. So we can see just what a nice shade of red that is. It's so easy on the eyes. It's not that bright red that kind of like almost burns your eyeballs. This one is just a really nice shade. So nice and easy to read. And we can see that when we've got the red on one side, red on the other, you don't get any distractions or anything on there. The only times you might is we've got some black text here, some red on the other. You might see a little bit more show through where there's black on the other side, but uh, not enough to give you any distractions at all. It does come with two nice black ribbons. They are double satin. They've got a really nice feel to them. They are a thinner ribbon, but I like that they're not too short. So I do like the length on the ribbons. Then we're going to get back into our concordance. It does have a 125 page concordance. So decent size. This one does not have the Bible dictionary. So I was kind of hoping it did, but I think just the black letter editions have that. And they may be doing away with that. I'm not 100% sure. So we've got a double column format for our concordance. Words are done in bold. So you can see that it is nice readable font. Very nicely done. Then we're going to get back into our note pages. So you're going to get 11 full pages. So 22 pages if you count front and back for your notes. Now, it is just blank. There's no lines on it, but one thing you could do if you wanted to make sure your notes stayed straight, you could always slide a piece of lined paper underneath this because you can see that you would be able to see those lines and keep your notes nice and straight. So it is really nice that it does have the pages for notes. We're going to get into our list of maps and then a map index. I can get a hold of that page there. 
So the index is going to be a three column format. And one thing too, if you, if you can't afford a iron calfskin Bible from them, they have right now a black letter edition with the turquoise in a vinyl cover to where they were, weren't going to put the maps in, but these pages still got put in there. And so you can get that Bible with a nice sewn book block in a vinyl cover for just $12. So if you wanted to check out this turquoise text and couldn't afford to get the iron calfskin, that is a great way to go. And then you could also always utilize these extra pages to use for uh, testing out your different marking pens. So that's a great way to get a really nice book block for not much money at all. So definitely check out their website for that. And we're gonna have 15 full color maps I do like the way that they're done their maps on a matte finish cardstock. You can see how detailed these are. The keys on them are really readable. And I like that they do have the border around them. I think that is really nice. So nice bright colors. They're well done. Again, we see our stitched binding which this Bible is going to last you a lifetime. And I love, if you've ever seen any of my other videos, you know that I love it when they break up the two page spreads. Because in that way you don't have any of these little towns that are close to the edge there fall down into the gutter. So I really appreciate it when publishers do their maps that way. But just really nicely done maps. And you're, it's not uh, on the glossy. So if you do take notes on your maps, it's going to be nice because your ink's not going to smear. Now we're going to also have four more pages of the blank cardstock for notes. So lots and lots of space if you want to take notes in your Bible. So the back here, you see a little bit more of the characteristics of the grain on the leather, but just an absolutely beautifully done Bible. The font and the text in this is just absolutely gorgeous. We do have half an inch on our top and bottom margin and our inner margins. So if you did want to take notes, you'll have a little bit of space. And then on this outer portion, it's a 7 8 inch margin. But the font on this Bible is just fantastic. I am in love with this Bible. I cannot put it down. I read out of this most of the day yesterday. So again, this has been from Church Bible Publishers. This is the mid-size center column reference Bible. This one is in the black calfskin. They're also going to be having a brown, which is gorgeous, and a red. And then you can also get them in the black letter as well. So here's the item number on this particular one. And again, if you can't afford the calfskin, get you one of those black letter with the vinyl until you can save up to get one of these, because that's a fantastic deal. I'm going to pick up a handful of those because that's a great giveaway Bible. There is their website there and their phone number. Those would also be great ones if you'd like to donate Bibles to senior centers because it is a larger font and a great book block. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.